So here's how I see it. I see the results of the election not as a picture of God's will, rather as a picture of the condition of the heart of man. That's what we've really learned from the results of this election. It's a result of man in his brokenness and sinfulness voting, choosing what they want, choosing what they're going to promote and empower. And based on the choices that were made all around our nation just this past week, we see that the heart of man, the heart of our nation is dark, it's lost, and it's in a lot of trouble. It's in a lot of trouble. This is what we've learned. We need a revival. We even talked about this last week. Voting is important. Who we vote for is important. Government, whether they fear the Lord or not, is important. But we also mentioned that what's most important is that people need to know Jesus. Because he's the only one that truly changes anyone. And you know what we learned? People really need Jesus <laughs> because we're pretty messed up in this country. We need to pray for the soul of our nation. We need to pray for a people that are far from God's heart and are far from God. Here are some examples. I just want to run through some things just because it's important that we understand the condition of the nation and what we're up against. And when I say what we're up against, I'm talking about the church, I'm talking about the salt and light in the salt and light. Here's some examples. Voters in California, Vermont, and Michigan passed measures to enshrine, that means to make sure that abortion is in their constitution, that they will allow abortion across the board, and they put it in their state constitutions. They wrote it down. You want to talk about pride before the Lord? You're going to vote it in and write it down. Here it is. Put it right in front of them on paper. That happened this past week. Voters in Kentucky failed to pass an amendment declaring uh, that there would be no right for abortion in their state. In other words, they want to just keep, keep things going on as they've been going on in their state. Montana. Now, Montana is a conservative state. Red, as they say, right? Voters rejected protections that would require care for babies who survived botched abortions. In other words, let babies die on the table six. Check this out. This is the, the vote count on this. Should we save a baby if they're still alive after an abortion? 52.1% at the time uh, of the count, 86% reporting, said, no, we shouldn't save them. We shouldn't require medical help for those helpless, precious babies that were already have been abused for this whole process that they've had to endure, yet they survive. 52.1% people, like neighbors, like people, they could be, no. Our nation is sick. This is what we've been learning this past week. Our nation has some severe problems. We've lost our moral compass. We've, we've drifted so far from God, we need revival. We need repentance. This is what we've learned. Now, we knew that going into it, but I think we're understanding just how deep this has gone, just how deep the depravity truly is in man. Church, we have our work cut out for us. We are called to be salt and light. We're God's ambassadors here on this earth. The way that darkness is dealt with is the light shows up. So let's just face the facts. There's not enough light showing up in this nation right now. Because darkness is not only, is not, not fleeing, darkness is is advancing in this nation. It's getting darker and more disturbing. It's an indictment truly, ultimately, on the church, on us. We've got our work cut out for us. 
We've got to be people who, who show up and speak up and share Jesus and live it out. And, and as the word came earlier, love. Walk out in the world and don't, don't shout at them and tell them how evil they are. They don't care what we think about that. They need to encounter God's love. They need to encounter the gospel of Jesus. They need to encounter the one who will actually change their heart. That's what our world needs, and they're not getting enough of it right now. That's the evidence that's been shown to us. Beloved, we got to be the church. we got to be who God has called us to be, the salt and light right here and right now. And it starts today. It's not, oh, well, two years from now when we vote again, we'll get it right. That's not the point. The point is, let's see. 40 minutes from now, when we walk out of this room, we get it right, and we be the light, and we bring change. We bring Jesus to some hurting people that are messed up, that are seeing things so, such in an ungodly way. We battle not against flesh and blood. Principalities, forces. Spiritual darkness. I mean, the battle is on. So let's wake up, let's show up, let's speak up, and let's pray up. Amen? So I want to pray before I go into the, to the scripture for today. I want to ask you to stand up and pray. We can't take this sitting down, is what I'm saying. Let's, let's stand up even now. God, we come to you and we stand right now before you. And God, the first thing I want to do is just I want to repent for the condition of this nation. God, and I want to just say, God, forgive us. Have mercy on us that we would allow this and allow more of it. But God, I also want to repent and ask for forgiveness and ask for mercy for the church, for the salt and light. God, I ask that you would stir us up. That the results that we're seeing, the things that we're seeing going on in our nation wouldn't cause us just to to curse the darkness, but God, that it would stir us up to actually step out and be the light. God, we stand before you as your people, and I ask that you would convict each one of us, and that you would fill each one of us that you would strengthen each one of us, that you would would renew our minds if that's what's needed, God. But Lord, ultimately that you would use us for your glory, that we would be that shining city on a hill, that we would be that light in the midst of this darkness, that we would be those who are bringing your love and your life into a loveless and lifeless world. God, I pray that the sick stuff that we're seeing in our nation would wake up your church. Wake us up, God. Wake us up, God. We need revival. God, we need you. We need you. We need you, Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Your name we pray. Amen. 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 You may be seated.